Hey everybody, it's Troy with eBuzz Central. Today we're taking a look at GNOME boxes. But before we get started, please don't forget to like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and at the end of the day, if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you'd like to follow me on my socials, maybe buy me a cup of coffee, or better yet, become a patron to the channel, those links are down below. GNOME boxes. Anybody that does anything with Linux or does any kind of virtualization has heard of it. But have they actually tried it? I have, and let me tell you something, I am beyond impressed. What we're used to using, most of us at least, is Oracle VM VirtualBox, which is a good program. I'm not stating that it's not, but it has quite a few steps just to get it up and working. So what we're going to do today is we're going to look at both of them. I'm going to show you how to set up a VirtualBox and then show you how easy it is to set up a GNOME box, and you will be running to download it, I promise you. But first, we're going to go over that. If you want to download, I'm running Manjaro KDE, as you can see. Just go over to your software. When it comes up, all you have to do is put in GNOME-boxes, enter, and it comes up right here. It's in the official repositories. You just click on the arrow and it'll download for you. Once that's done, if you do not have VirtualBox, go ahead and put in VirtualBox. There's Oracle's VirtualBox in the official repositories. Click the arrow and download it as well. That way, if you want to do the same test that I'm doing, we can be on the same playing field. So I'm going to close out of that. First one we're going to open up and try to make work is the virtual box. So we're going to click down here. Now, anybody that has ever done anything with virtual box will know the steps that we're getting ready to take, but I'm going to take those steps so that you can see the difference between virtual box and gnome boxes. So we've got to set up a new machine. So we will go over here and I'm just going to name it test OS. And of course we'll make it a Linux machine. Then we will go next. Here you're going to issue the memory size, so I'm going to give it two gigabytes of memory. And I'm not going to add a virtual disk for the simple fact that I run everything in a live mode, so there's no reason for me to lock up that disk space on my SSD. So we will create. It'll give me a warning stating that I'm not creating a virtual hard disk, which is fine. I will continue, and now I'm ready to give it a shot. So we have to go into settings now. And what you'll have to do in settings is you'll have to go check all these settings out. Okay, I've given it two gigabytes of RAM. We'll go over to processor. I'll give it two processors. I don't need acceleration. Display. I want to give it 32 megabytes of display. We will leave that alone. Storage. We'll have to click on where it says empty. Go over here and browse. Then we will have to choose what we're wanting to put in here. And I'm going to go with Manjaro XFCE. We will click open so that we will choose. Now we have our machine chosen. And we should be, I guess, good to go there. So we will click OK. And now comes the moment of truth. We try to start this machine to see if it will work. It's going to auto capture the keyboard. We will go ahead and do it with open source drivers. Then we will click on view and go to full screen and we will switch. So now we are going to hope that our machine fires up. There we go. We're starting to get some information there. Yes, mouse integration, we understand. Virtual box guest service, live media. I know this is different from my usual videos. I kind of want you all to see the process, especially if you're familiar with virtual box. waiting on it. 
Okay, it finally came up. Connection established. And there you go. You're in your virtual machine inside VirtualBox. Let's go down here and click on the menu. It's a little slow and sluggish, but it is what it is. Let's click on Web Browser. With the machine only being issued two gigabytes of RAM and two CPUs, it is kind of sluggish. And what we will do is we'll just go to the main Manjaro site. And there you go. It loaded up. Because you are in a virtual machine, you do see a little bit of lagginess. You saw those were a little laggy. It took a little while for the page to load. The lagginess could be helped if we went back and issued it, you know, four gigabytes of RAM and maybe four CPUs. But you guys know from watching my videos, I always do it on low specs so you can see the way it works. Now, we're going to go over and look at GNOME boxes. Let me close out of this. Let's go ahead and power this machine down. We will close. Okay, that machine is powered off. Now we're going to open GNOME boxes. There it is. It's popped right up. Let's go ahead and maximize it. Now, we're going to go over a couple things here before we get started. If you come over here, you've got your help, about boxes, keyboard shortcuts. You can change the way your machines are listed. Right now, they're going to be in a grid across, but you can make it in a list where you have them lined up here. But right now, we're going to add a machine. Now, what you can do right here, if you do not have an image downloaded and you want to download one, you can come in here. You've got your featured downloads, which is Red Hat Enterprise, Fedora Workstation, and Fedora Silverblue. But you can also do an operating system download if you click right there. It'll show you all these Linux distributions you can download, whether it be Debian, OpenSUSE, Manjaro, NixOS, Alt Workstation, OpenSUSE, Fedora, Ubuntu, Endless, and you can just keep going on and on and on. But if you have already downloaded an image, all you have to do is go over here where it says Operating System Image File. We're going to go with Downloads, and we're going to go with Manjaro. We're going to open. The machine out of the box has 4 gigabytes of memory and disk size of 26.8 gig. I'm changing that. Let's customize it. I'm going to run this down to 2 gigabytes, and I'm going to take that to the smallest because I'm just using it in a live mode. Hit Create. Your machine is starting right now. Now remember, we've just clicked two buttons as opposed to all the setup we had to do in VirtualBox. They went full screen mode. The system is starting. Live media configuration script, activation socket, Pac-Man. It's just running through some initial jobs to run it in live mode. It's getting ready to come up and what you'll notice right off the bat you do have an issue with the display resolution just type in display it'll bring it up resolution 1920 by 1080 apply and we're rolling there it is basically all I had to do was download the ISO open it in boxes give it a quick setting on disk size and memory Hit create and we're open. We're ready to go. Quick integrated process. It's great. Now, let me show you this. Click over here. Go to web browser. Let's open it up. Let's go to Manjaro's website. Watch down here. Boom, boom, boom. Slide. It runs smoother than VirtualBox for some reason. The beauty of it is just something else. Now, we are in full screen mode. You can take it down to this mode. 
Okay. You can even go back. Now watch this. Create operating system image file. Let's open. It's an unknown OS. Let's go ahead and go next. We will go to 21 create. Now it's loading up into Arctic Linux. Starting our processes. All right, we are open to the password screen, so we'll put in Arctix and Arctix. There we go. Let's go ahead and find the monitor. Monitor settings. Let's go ahead and adjust 1920 by 1080. Apply. Let's go to full screen. That way you see we're at full screen. Yes, we want to keep that. Now, we are open into Arctix Linux in GNOME boxes. Now, I want to show you something really cool. Okay, let's minimize that. Let's arrow back. I've got Arctix here. I've got Manjaro here. Watch this. Manjaro is still running. So, I have Manjaro still open in a virtual environment. And if I want to go back, switch back to Arctix, I'm back into Arctix Linux. Both of these virtual machines are running side by side on top of my regular Manjaro. So let's go ahead and go to full screen. And there you go. I'm telling you right now, if you are running Linux and you do virtualization, you need to download GNOME boxes. I am completely impressed. This is an application that is going to make my job a lot easier, especially when I'm doing reviews on Linux distributions or just need to open something up and do a quick assessment. This makes it so much easier. I don't have to fool around. The things I like the most, the speed of being able to get a virtual machine up and going, the resolution. I don't know how many times I have fought VirtualBox on trying to get the resolution correct on a live CD. I have good luck with some and I have just horrible luck with others. This one right here in GNOME boxes, I just go in change the resolution to where it's supposed to be, go to full screen, and it's there. I don't have to fight with it. I'm telling you, GNOME Boxes is awesome. You need to go to wherever you can, download it, and take it for a test drive. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Let me go ahead and back out of this. And still, right now, uh, Arctix is still running in the background. So I'm running two virtual machines right here. They're in standby. I can minimize this. I can go down here on my system. I can go ahead and do whatever I have to do down here. Uh, let's do a search. Let's just search for eBuzz Central. Okay, it's still snappy. I'm still rolling. And at the same time, I'm going to minimize that. Go back down to boxes. Open up Manjaro. So there you go. See, I'm running two virtual machines on top of my regular and here's the beauty of it. On an overview, I've got my main machine and two virtual machines running. And I'm using six gigs out of the eight that I have installed on this computer. And I'm at about 25% on my CPU. I think GNOME Boxes has knocked it out of the park. I think what they're doing in the development of this piece of software is definitely... A plus for the Linux community. And I do recommend that if you are using VirtualBox right now, that you go download GNOME Boxes and give it a shot. It's going to make your life of working with virtual machines so much easier. Did you like GNOME Boxes? Do you think you might download it and give it a shot? Let me know in the comments below. Do me a favor before you leave today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and at the end of the day, if you don't like me, you can always unsubscribe. Also, if you want to follow me on my socials, maybe buy me a cup of coffee, or better yet, become a patron to the channel over on Patreon, those links are down below. Thank you for watching my video, and I will see you in the next video.